Hi guys, it's me. Can't stay away from the internet for long now, can we? Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm happy to be here. Hi guys, I'm Didi. You probably already know me because you probably found this through my Instagram. Welcome to Sparklefish. Sparklefish is a word I said like a year ago and I liked it so I kept it. Much like my name, Didi. What is Sparklefish? I don't know yet, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. I live in Kingston, Jamaica. I grew up here. Um, but I was away for a long time. I was away for a decade in America, in mostly in Los Angeles. And I came back here pretty unexpectedly, maybe like almost two years ago. I'm a creative polymath. Don't know if that's a word. I just, I may have just made it up. It just, it spills into everything, but I especially, especially love video and film because it lets me put it all together. Taiko YTT said it the best, like, if you are creative, you should have as many tools and as many media as possible to express anything you want because why shouldn't you, you know? This is, this part of this is like me convincing me that this is cool. My world is sparkly and it's magical and it's uh, kind of dark and shadowy sometimes but always interesting, always mysterious. I'm very proud of these blue eyebrows that I have today and the glitter on my cheeks. Thank you, Glossier and Urban Decay, but mainly Glossier. I feel like a walking contradiction, kind of. It's fun, usually. I want people to know what I make, I want people to know who I am, but like, I do not want people to know anything about me at all. Like, I am hyper private. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> The truth is, friends, that I have always wanted my own show from like at least 2015. It only took a casual four and a half-ish years for me to actually do it. I just played it real, real low-key the whole time and was like, no, I want to be discovered. I want somebody to like come up to me in the Atwater's Farmer's Market and be like, have you ever thought about being on TV? And I'll be like, all the time. I am an obsessive documenter. My journals are, it, it's like a museum. I feel like I could run a museum. And I do in my head and on my shelves. But this is another way of documenting for me and documenting all the things that mean stuff to me and like make me really excited. I'm very good at the internet. I'm very good at expressing myself. However, I don't ever want to promote it myself. I like to keep it interesting I like to keep myself interested in the things I make so I'm you know striving for a balance but like what ends up happening is I just don't talk about me or what I'm doing ever I just like float it out there mysteriously because I love mystery and just hope people infer and hope people are curious enough to like go do it and go find it themselves but like it you know it doesn't always work I have had a lot of inhibitions in terms of what I put out into the world and I'm just really tired of just thinking the shit out of everything I do. Yeah, it's so exhausting being this reflective all the time. <laughs> Things I will probably be talking about on here. Magic, art, glossier, duppies, ghosts energies, various aspects of my life, but not all of them. What it's like being a creative millennial woman living in the Caribbean, but having a global mindset and trying to make a career out of my many talents and the resources that we have available to us in 2020 and beyond. So yeah, um, I'm having a very good time with you guys. <laughs>